Hi everyone and welcome to Creative Chelsea. If you like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up or commenting below. If you want to see more of my videos, press the subscribe button and click on the bell for notifications. If you need any Stampin' Up! products to make this card, you can visit my online store and the link is in the description below. When you purchase Stampin' Up! products through me, you can earn free products. Check out my current customer appreciation products on my blog and the link is also in the description below. Today I'd like to share with you my fifth alternative project using the May 2021 Paper Pumpkin Kit called Batter Up. This fun card kit created nine cards, three in each of these designs. And what I like to do is take those products and create my own cards. And all week I have been sharing those alternative projects. And this is my last card idea that I'll be sharing on YouTube. If you're interested in watching me unbox this kit or seeing my other alternative projects, you can click up here in the top right corner. Today I am sharing with you the card that I will be sending to my subscribers. Every month I send an exclusive card kit to my personal Paper Pumpkin subscribers. And in this kit, they are able to use just the stamp set from the Paper Pumpkin kit to create two cards. And these are the cards they will be making. There are two variations. There's the vertical and the horizontal. And so let's go ahead and make this card now. To make this card, you're going to need some extra pieces of cardstock as well as some other colors of ink. So I have a card base that is soft suede and it's been cut to five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. And we're just gonna go ahead and fold that along the score line. Then I have a piece of basic white cardstock that is two inches by three inches. Then I have a piece of real red cardstock that is one inch by four inches. And then I have some scratch paper of basic white that I'm going to be stamping some other images on. And then you will also need a strip that is three eighths of an inch in width and then any length that you need for your greeting. So let's begin by stamping the background images. So what I've done for the card is I've taken the baseball bat and I have stamped it across the card, just kind of randomly kind of sticking it up just to make it look like there were a bunch of baseball bats that were either laying on the ground or hang, uh, stacked up against, you know how they sometimes will stack them up against the fence. So that's kind of the look that I'm going for here in the background. And you can choose if you're going to do the vertical or horizontal card. So I'm going to stamp this in soft suede, which is the same color as the card base. You can stamp it in any other brown or black color that you may have. And again, I'm just, I'm going to make mine vertical. So you just kind of find the center and just start stamping. And you do want to keep the orientation of the bat the same. So I'm going to start with the top of the bat, or I guess the handle of the bat at the bottom. And then just randomly stamp this in all different directions, in different heights, going across your card. Just like that. Next, while we have the bat out, let's go ahead and stamp on our scratch paper two bats that we will be fussy cutting out later. Next, I have some real red ink, and I'm going to stamp the hat in that color on that scratch paper. And if you don't have real red, you can choose a different color of ink here. And then on the two by three piece of Whisper White cardstock, I'm gonna stamp my greeting. And I wanted to show you how you could use all three greetings that came in the kit. So I'm going to go ahead and do your the best for this card. I'm gonna stamp this in the center of that two by three, making sure I leave some space at the bottom for my other um, greetings here. Now I just noticed I got a little bit extra ink in between those letters 
And so I'm just going to probably cover that up with some of the other words, such as sun and ever, which is what I wanted to use on this card. So I do have space here that I could stamp right directly onto that Whisper White cardstock if I wanted. So you don't have to do this extra step here if you don't want to um, have that popped up. So I've just stamped those in the center of that 3 8 inch strip. And I'm going to take a pair of paper snips and just trim those words down. And then I'm gonna cover up that little smudge with those words. And I'm going to use a dimensional. Just going to cut this one in half so it's a little smaller and fits better behind these little pieces of cardstock. So I'm gonna place sun first, and like I said, cover that up just a little bit, and then I'll place ever right over that. So you're gonna get something that looks like that, and of course, if you don't have a smudge, then you can place those wherever you would like. Now I'm going to add my red strip to the card base, just a little adhesive on the back, and place that in the center of the card base and then before I add this to my card I did want to give it a little bit of a um, older look so I've got a sponge dauber and it has some soft suede ink on it so before I add this piece to my card I wanted to give it a little bit more of a distressed look along the edge so I've got a sponge dauber and my soft suede and I'm just gonna take that and add a little color right along the edges here. And then you can dab off a little bit. And then if you wanna add a little extra color in the corners, then you can add that, just a little lighter ink. This is now ready to add to our card. And we can do that with some dimensionals on the back and you can center that, or if you need a little more space for your baseball bats, which is kind of what I need when I do this vertically, so that you can push it over to the right. So you can see on the horizontal one that I just placed it right in the center, there's even amount of space on the left and right, and then I just place the baseball bats because um, this greeting was a little smaller, so I had plenty of space. So on this one, I've pushed it to the right, so I have a little more space to add these baseball bats, which I need to now fussy cut out. Okay, so those are all fussy cut out and ready for my card. And I'm just gonna place some dimensionals at the top and bottom. And then um, if it lays over this greeting piece, then I'll add a glue dot. If not, then I'll support it with a dimensional in the middle. So I've got a large dimensional here that I've cut in half, and that's gonna go at the top. And then you take the side of the dimensional sheet and you can trim a small section and um, you just need a little piece that maybe is about an eighth of an inch or so. And you can just place that right there at the bottom near the handle. Okay, so let's on one of these place a glue dot. These also came in the kit 
If you've used up all of yours, then you can just use um, some regular adhesive or Stampin' Up! also sells glue dots. And we'll just go ahead and add this to our card. Now I like to add them so that they are over some of the stamped images that I have um, stamped in the back. So I have these two right here and I'm gonna just go ahead and place this first bat over that one closest to my greeting. And then it looks like my second one is going to be off. So it's going to need a little bit of support there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut a little more from the edge. And add that dimensional right to the center of that bat. And then place this bat over that other stamped one. So we've got two bats nice and close to one another and then we'll add the greeting and then we'll add our hat to the greeting. And if you wanted you could pop that up with a dimensional as well. Something like that. And your card is all done. So now you can see how you can create multiple cards using that same layout and how to use the greetings and how to use all three and how to use all three of the large greetings that came in the kit with this layout. I hope you enjoyed watching me create this fun card today. If you're interested in getting your own subscription to Paper Pumpkin, please sign up using the link in the description below. For more information on how to create this card, such as written instructions and close-up images, you can visit my blog, creativechelsea.com. Thanks so much for watching. Have a creative day. Bye.